Hey y'all, welcome to the Trash Puppy channel. This channel is all about financial investments, cryptocurrency, with a sprinkle of conspiracy theory. If you enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Before today's video, a little housekeeping. This video is for educational and research purposes only. It is not investment advice. Happy Saturday, y'all. Coming to you live from my basement where it's freezing right now. But I got my Luigi jacket on and shout out to my boy Luigi, man. Hope you're doing okay in there, buddy. So today's video is about meme stocks. I will talk to you about the making of a meme stock, the psychology of it, and really anything else I want to talk about because the Trash Puppy channel is all about financial investing, but it's also where the stocks meet the stars and celestial cycles influences market cycles. I've been doing some reading to prepare for my two audience, and I want to share with y'all the research and that I put into this channel and books I'm reading. First up, the original prophetic text, Kui Bei Tu, from 5,000-year-old Chinese text. Next up, the Bible. The Prosperity Bible. As you can see, I got the GOAT, Benjamin Franklin, there. Shout out to LeBron, the GOAT. Greatest of all time. Go Lakers. For those of you that want to work on your emotional intelligence, highly recommend Dale Carnegie. Lastly, what I have been discussing related to Warren Buffett having a ton of cash on the sidelines. There's a little bit of irrational exuberant in the market. Last but not least, to keep your finance game and finesse game strong, 48 Laws of Power. There you have it. Those are the books that the Trash Puppy are reading at all times, at the same time, never finishing them. So anyways, a lot in the news. Um, there was a cyber truck that burned up in front of Trump Tower. The Lakers won last night. Let's go AR-15. Shout out to the Lakers. And shout out to those hardworking attendants and ticketing people at the Laker game. Each time I try to get on the floor, they never let me. But that they're doing their job. Can't be mad. I want to make sure that I also do my job to my viewers and bring y'all the latest news in the market. The stock market, the finance market, and give you guys a fresh perspective of my two viewers. So I want to start with a personality test, Meyer Briggs. And you can find the paid version on the Meyer Briggs website, or there's a free version on 16 personalities. You can take a free test there and find out your personality type. And mine is showing in the background. And why is this important? It's important to understand your own personality so you can increase personal and emotional intelligence. This brings up why I decided to share with y'all the books I'm reading. To understand your personality and to increase your emotional intelligence means making better decisions in the market. The stock market is there to trick you. And as y'all know, the inspiration behind this channel is Keith Gill, the Roaring Kitty. I and a fan of Roy and Kitty, not only because he took $60,000 and made millions and was able to halt the trading of GameStop just with a live stream, I believe he found a cheat code. A cheat code in the matrix of the marketplace where all the stars were aligned on the right dates for him to talk about GameStop and his beliefs in the company and why he wants to push out the institutional 
investors. He didn't know he had the key, the, the key words and the code and the cheat code to hack the system. He just did it. And so shout out to him. And after that, there were many copycats, including myself, because some say that the best flattery is imitation. So today we're talking about the psychology of investing, meme stocks, and ticker symbol K-I-T-T. -T, Nauticus Robotics. Ticker symbol K-I-T-T, -T, Nauticus Robotics. It did 150% on Friday. So it's easy for me to jump on this bandwagon. <clears throat> There's a story behind K-I-T-T. -T. If y'all watched my previous video on Ocean Power Technologies, OPTT, I had some crazy conspiracy theories about an impending tsunami of 2025. Whether it happens or not, hey, I'm just sharing some information with y'all. I'm trying to empower y'all. In the meantime, I got a lot of haters and pointed out that some of my research is incorrect because the company that would benefit the most from a disaster is Nauticus Robotics, ticker symbol. K-I-T-T, -T, that kitty, that good, that good kitty is still pumping 25% after hours. There is still tremendous upside with this company and I'm about to tell you why here on the Trash Puppy channel where the stars meet the stocks and celestial cycles influences market cycles. As y'all know, in my previous video, I discussed a prediction around an impending Tsunami hitting the coast of Japan. And you guessed it, Nauticus Robotics makes an underwater robot that performs autonomous tasks. It can do tasks such as exploration, drill baby drill, but also it can help in underwater rescue efforts in times of catastrophe. It is part of a larger U.S. Navy study on creating a new defense network for our maritime fleet because ocean defense is national defense. You heard it here on the Trash Puppy channel. Ocean defense is national defense, U.S. national defense. And in my last video, I cover OPTT, Ocean Power Technology. And OPTT makes the software and some of the controllers that runs the entire system. So I think of OPTT as making the ecosystem and Nauticus robots as a big vendor and a neighboring uh, vendor that is also in Houston working together with OPTT in our maritime defense. Before we get into the financials and the technical analysis, I want to discuss the SEC law around short sale. This particular disclosure rule was already passed in November. However, because of 2025, now it's a law. And it's a disclosure agreement around short selling. This is part of my series on mean stocks and short selling. And I want to make sure that I am not misled by a company engaged in quick short-term turnarounds and not actually in increasing shareholder equity for its shareholders. So I'm looking at the short sale volume for KITT. And I have some proxy stocks on the chart to give me an idea of what um, these positions that I have been covering on my channel, if they fit a profile of a mean stock, which is usually heavy short selling that drives out the retail investors with huge one day upside and then a dump. And who's left holding the bag? Average retail investors like yourself and mine. Shout out to Reddit and all of the forums that support me and allow me to promote my videos. This one is really for y'all. My stock covers, I am taking a look to make sure that I'm not pushing a position on y'all 
that I would not trade. You have to buy the right stock. You can't be selling the wrong kitty out there. So let's take a look. KITT, short sale volume, huge spikes. Get back to the SEC law around short sale disclosure that's just implemented in January 2nd of this year. I believe this particular rule is to prevent volatility like the ones we saw during the meme stock craze perfected by Keith Gill, the Roaring Kitty. Keith Gill discovered the loophole in the marketplace and he was able to drive huge gains and essentially start a whole new movement around short squeeze. And there are a lot of copycats out there. And this rule is to curtail some of those copycat behavior. There are, I won't get into it too much here, but it essentially says if you hold $10 million or more in short positions, it must be disclosed. So this is to limit the upside that a short seller can make on a position because they will usually take both sides. A short institution seller will take the sell side to drive out the retail investors and then soon after take the buy side and make the spread in between. And I always want to make sure that the trash puppy is not covering stocks that fall in this profile. So I've made my own short volume chart with KITT. And KITT is in the orange. And before its pump yesterday, you saw huge spikes in short sale even all the way back to July. The blue line here is another equity that I cover TNXP. And shout out to my TNXP Reddit forum buddies. Y'all are my inspiration behind the channel and you guys help me with the content, so thank you. And I have some other proxy stocks here, KULR, which has been in the news a lot, and they're in the red for their short volume. So no one is shorting K KULR currently. Uh, how, however, you saw where the spikes were. I'm also covering OPTT, Ocean Power Technology, and they're in the green. And you can see some of these stocks all have the similar patterns in terms of what I call the twin peaks. No, I'm not talking about those twin peaks, you perverts. I'm talking about twin peaks. Sorry about that. Looking at these charts just got me all kinds excited. I'm a pervert for the stock market. What can I say? So what I see are twin, twin peaks developing and KITT looks like it might go through more selling with potential for more upside in creating another set of reps. I, I meant peaks. And you heard it here on the Trash Puppy channel first. There is still huge upside to KITT that Kitty due to its technology in Aquanauts and its future outlook. So let's just go right to the financials. Not a kiss robotics, ticker symbol KITT, up 25% in after hours. They their third quarter ended September 30th, and their revenue that is down year over year for the same period by $1.2 million. Yet the company continues to trade at huge multiples in the market, which means that their future outlook is very positive. Where are their future products in? They're in, you guessed it, autonomous underwater robots that can help the current administration drill baby drill. And this is the reason why I'm so bullish on KITT, this kitty. Uh, so I go and make sure that I understand all of the stock holder dilutions going on in the marketplace. And sure enough, they're trying to raise money. In an AK dated December 11th, it tells you that they're looking to raise 
over a million dollars. And they also have another Class B convertible preferred stock that can convert to regular stock in the tune of another million dollars. So overall, they're trying to raise two million dollars. And this is how much your equity would dilute by. But because this is a small cap company, I don't anticipate huge drops in the price. There will be some because of, as I mentioned, the building of the Twin Peaks. However, Nauticus Robotics is well positioned in the market because they are in the government space. They're playing in federal defense dollars. And as I have mentioned on this channel, government contracts are the best and strongest revenue. There are values associated with government contracts that are inherently intrinsic. Think relationships, think future opportunities, and also these contracts, due to the government's current inefficiencies, they essentially renew themselves and can run to perpetuity for a company. This is why the upside is huge for Nauticus Robotics, and it's reflected in their balance sheet. So in spite of their decrease in their revenue by over a million dollars when they were only making 300,000, their balance sheet continues to remain strong. In fact, they are able to increase their cash position by over current asset position, excuse me, by over $2.2 million with most of the increase in stockholder equity and liability. So Nauticus Robotics, ticker symbol K-I-T-T. -T. Monday, looking for more gains with downside risk possible due to the short sellers trying to buy back their positions. You've heard it on the Trash Puppy channel first. If you like this content, please hit the subscribe button.